Great to have you with us first at five, a CBS2 exclusive. This video just into the newsroom, a key clue for police. Video showing two high school students shot and killed under a busy L station in the loop today. Good afternoon, I'm Joe Dom. And I'm Erica Sargent. Police say gunmen opened fire on a group of teens as they walked out of school near Washington in Wabash today. CBS2's Suzanne Lemonyo is live at the scene with more of that exclusive video. Suzanne. Joe, Erica, police say that these teens, just 16 and 17 years old, those are the victims. I'm going to show you right now where this all happened. Now, take a look here. They were shot just on the other side of this elevator structure that you see behind me, close to the street. The moments before and after the shooting were all caught on nearby surveillance cameras. You see both victims here on the left side of your screen. Here on the right, a dark colored SUV pulls up underneath the train tracks. At least one person can be seen running from the vehicle, ambushing the victims. The shooter then runs back into the SUV. The driver takes off on Wabash South, then turns west on Madison. Chicago police say a group of six teenagers had just left a nearby high school when the shooting happened. Several students were exiting the Innovations High School when two cars pulled up and a group of individuals exited said vehicles, fired multiple times, striking two of the teenage students of uh, Innovations High School. These individuals were taken to Northwestern Hospital where they succumbed to their injuries. So we'd like to actually say again that our thoughts and prayers are with the families of these two students. Witnesses tell us as many as 10 or more shots were fired. This woman says she was grazed by a bullet as she walked to her studio. She showed us the hole in her jacket. Went through my arm, but just like passing by. And yeah, here. So the bullet did that? Yes. How are you feeling right now? Um, super anxious. Um, sad, and I was afraid that it hit me too by accident. Mohammed Ashik says the shooting happened right across the street from his business. Uh, I, I saw you know, somebody doing over there. I laid on, you know, because uh, I have a problem with the gun come. For me, you know. The shooting left onlookers and a sheik in shock. My head going so heavy, you know, I can't even talk, I can't even go, I, I want to go home. I don't take the car to go home because my head is too heavy, you know. I'm here 40 years. I never see somebody steal something, some little thing, you know, this is normal, you know. But shooting I never see. This is the first time I saw it. Now with where the shooting happened right here under the CTA train tracks, Chicago police say they're going to be reviewing CTA surveillance camera footage to see if the crime was captured on camera. Rest in peace, Monty and Lil Rob. Police said a dark color sedan and SUV pulled up to a crowd and multiple masked men jumped out and opened fire. Four of the attackers fled in the vehicle and the other two took on foot, sources said. The two who ran away on feet ran into a nearby Popeyes and changed clothes, sources say. One of the suspects are being detained by the police. Damn, man, that's crazy. Rest in peace and condolence to the family. The fans are saying they brothers from a post made on Instagram. A witness said they was leaving school and getting stalked the whole time. This whole deadly encounter Counter was caught on surveillance cameras and eyewitnesses videotaped the aftermath of this gruesome scene. Y'all know how I go when they got one in custody. He gonna get to talking and telling on gang gang. 16 and 17. Man, I'm telling y'all these streets is wicked and don't love nobody. Pop in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'ma keep you updated on the update. Don't end your life before you begin your life. Real Time TV, I'm out.